This is your evening KRQE.com webcast. Kristen Van Dyke starts off with the weather. Good evening. Mainly clear tonight. We'll see some smoke moving into south central, southeastern New Mexico, Sacramento Mountains, and maybe a little smokier over toward Roswell as we head through tomorrow. But otherwise, winds are going to be light tonight. Things nice and calm here in the metro area, mostly clear skies. And tomorrow, we're going to see more sunshine with hot temperatures returning. We do get a cool off though for Thursday. The next cold front moves through. That'll usher in some moisture and that will bring in the chance for a few spot thunderstorms out across the east. The wind should stay fairly light across the state. We'll see slightly windier conditions. Across southern New Mexico, gusting at 3540. Here in the metro, 15 to 20 mile an hour winds tomorrow, and another hot one, highs near 90, will be in the 80s and 90s as we head through the weekend. The Whitewater Complex fire in the Gila is about to become New Mexico's biggest ever. The latest estimate puts it at 152,000 acres. That is just 5,000 short of last summer's record breaking Las Conchas fire. And the Whitewater is still 0% contained. High winds and low humidity have fueled its explosion in the last week. 1,100 firefighters are working it. It is not threatening any homes or inhabited areas, but the historic ghost town of Mogollon is in danger. The fire destroyed a dozen houses in Willow Creek last week. Investigators performed an autopsy today to determine how famed boxer Johnny Tapia died. The five-time world champ was found dead in his northeast Albuquerque home this past weekend. He was 45. Police are not releasing the cause of death yet, but Tapia has publicly struggled with drug addiction and depression. Tapia's wife says she is planning to hold a public memorial. Join us for more news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.